Alright. Uh... Okay. Uh, so I just beat the uh, water dungeon, the second one. Uh, I guess next I'm supposed to go up uh, northwest uh, to the swamp, or no, I guess it's the forest. Uh, yeah. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I've got a lot of uh, rupees, so I'm just gonna head east uh, over to the a rupee donating spot in the lake. Uh, so I'll uh, dump a bunch of rupees in here. Yeah, just because I'm almost uh, almost full. I don't want to waste them by uh, being full. And after that, uh, I think I'll head up and check out the dark side Kakariko. I think I should be able to get up there now. Uh, I think there's a couple things I can do there now. Um, yeah, I might be able to get the sword upgrade now, I think. Uh, there's probably some heart pieces. I guess, uh, I don't know, while I'm doing this, uh, the next game, the next Zelda game was uh, Wind Waker. Uh, yeah, I don't remember, let's see, I would have been like middle school maybe at the time uh, when it came out. Uh, I don't remember if I got it at the time or not. Uh, I seem to remember there was a lot of... Uh, I remember at the time, uh, a lot of people didn't like the, uh, the cell style. It was, you know, cartoony and childish and whatever. Uh, and I, yeah, I don't remember what I thought about it at the time. Uh, and I don't remember if I got it right when it came out. Uh, I'm guessing I probably didn't. Uh, because I know at the time I wasn't really into, like, Nintendo games and stuff, and, uh, you know, I was like, oh, they're, you know, they're childish, like, I wasn't playing, uh, Pokemon, and, uh, I didn't get, like, any Mario games, really, on the, uh, GameCube. Uh, so, I'm guessing I probably didn't get, uh, Link, uh, Wind Waker at that time. Uh, but I would have, uh, I did get it eventually, and I got it at the very least, like, before the end of the Wii generation. Because I remember, like, I did, uh, I did get, like, the actual disc and play it on the actual hardware, uh, while it was still, uh, while that hardware was new. So I don't know if that was, like, the, towards the end of the Wii generation, maybe? And I played it on there, but uh, I did end up playing Wind Waker uh, once anyways. Yeah, same with a couple of the previous games. Uh, I just played this the one time. Mm, 
you know, I had more games to play and stuff, so I wasn't gonna just play through it over and over. Uh, although I did, uh, I did quite like Wind Waker. Uh, of course, you know, the usual, uh, problems with it that everyone says, you know, the, uh, the Triforce hunt is a bit tedious and everything. Okay. I do wonder if that, what that, uh, when they say good luck and so on, if that actually does anything. Like, if that's uh, affecting, like, drop rates of uh, rupees and stuff. Yeah, so I, uh, I played Wind Waker, I liked it uh, a fair bit. I uh, haven't played it since, and, uh, you know, I haven't really been... I, I liked it, but I didn't like it enough to uh, really want to uh, go through it again. Uh, you know, even the... I think it was like, what, the Wii U remake? Uh, I never played that. Well, I never had a Wii U anyways, so... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have been getting it. Yeah, when the after the Wii generation, I just kind of gave up on Nintendo and was like, okay, you know, they're they're obviously just totally catering to like casual players. Uh, like the whole Wii generation was basically aimed at like uh, you know little kids and retirement homes and you know soccer moms and stuff. It wasn't uh, you know I was like, okay, if they're gonna do this, uh, you know, I'm not gonna get a Wii U. Uh, so I ended up, uh, uh, yeah, I got a, I ended up getting a PS3, although that was, uh, way towards the end. Uh, I think that was actually, I think I actually got it after I got a PS4, or maybe, no. No, it was before I got a PS4, but I think the PS4 was almost out. It was a, you know, a year or two, just, or like maybe a year until the PS4 came out. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I was kind of done with Nintendo at that point. Uh, plus, fortunately, it turns out all, pretty much all the good uh, Wii U games have gotten Switch ports, so uh, it turns out to be no great loss. Um, let's see, okay, if I go that way, uh, I would need the gloves, so I'll have to go east. Uh, I think I head up uh, northeast, and uh, I can cross with the hookshot. Yeah, I can't wait till I get the uh, next tunic, because everything is doing like two hearts to me. Okay, good. Uh, I was worried there for a second. Did I, uh, did I mistake? Was there no uh, hook shot point? Thank you. 
Uh, I think there's something in here, in the, uh, yep. I don't think that's actually terribly useful. Uh... Oh no, oh no. I can do this. So I could kill myself with bombs. Or, uh, I don't know, I'll try this. Oh, good. Uh, well, not. Uh. Yeah, that, that was annoying. Uh, so I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so I, if I remember correctly, there's, uh, like, I need to get back to the dark world now. Alright, good. Alright, so there's one, there's one there, after all. Now I can just uh, head back up here. So there should be, uh, I think there's a couple more things I can get up here. Leave one of them's a uh, heart piece up here. Anyway, so after uh, Wind Waker was the uh, Minish Cap. Uh, I didn't play this one at the time, uh, I don't know why I didn't get it, but, uh, I don't know if I was even really aware of it, or, I don't know, very interested, I, like, I don't, you know, I, I don't think I even cared, I was like, oh, yeah, another Zelda or whatever. The mirror is annoying, I kind of wish it would, uh, it would snap you to the, the square when you use it, so you don't run into problems like that. 
Although I'm sure there's probably some exploit you can use somewhere to, uh, you, you know, use the mirror like halfway on a tile or something, and then, uh, uh, you know, you can like glitch through a wall or something. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna explore the graveyard because I'm pretty sure there's a another heart piece or something in here. So I, uh, I did play it a couple years ago on emulator, uh, and uh, yeah, I guess uh, similar thoughts as Wind Waker. You know, it was it was good. Uh, not really any desire to play it again, but uh, yeah, it was uh, nothing really wrong with it. Uh, I would probably rank it again the around with the. Link's Awakening, kind of lower for me, but uh, not a bad game, just not one of my favorite Zelda games. Alright, so I can't get there. There was more stuff in the graveyard than that, but uh... Oh my god, that's so annoying. Alright, uh, that's it for the graveyard. No idea what's in here. I think it's just a little cave or something. Uh, there's nothing. Sure. So I'll check out what's up here.
great. That's, that's great. So after uh, Minish Cap came uh, Twilight Princess, uh, and that was one I did play it again, like uh, Majora's or uh, Wind Waker, uh, somewhat uh, at the time of release. Uh, I don't think it was. I don't think I got it day one or anything, but. Uh, Uh, but it was, uh, it wasn't like years later or anything. I was playing it, uh, I believe on GameCube. Uh, and that was one, I don't know, I found just... kind of, I don't know, bland? Uh, it, I don't know, it wasn't bad again, but, uh, what's... Not sure what that is. Uh, uh, nothing really interesting there. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't. I don't know. I just kind of played through it and was like, yeah, okay, the, it's Zelda. And so, yeah, I don't really remember much about it. Like, it seemed to be basically. You know, it's, it, it's just Zelda. It's, it didn't seem to have really any kind of interesting parts to it, uh, aside from, I guess, Midna was cool, but, uh, yeah, aside from that, it wasn't terribly interesting. Uh, I have, you know, like, zero interest in playing it again. Uh, okay. Alright, uh, I guess to get down south, I'll have to go to Kakariko first. I thought I'd do these two houses and then loop around Kakariko, but uh, I can't do that, so... Okay, so... Uh, one thing I know I can do is... Uh, I was just worried that uh, the mirror spot was uh, stuck in the hedge and I was going to not be able to get back. Alright, so I can do this. Uh, this will make the flute actually work. I suppose I can do that dungeon now. Uh, I guess I might as well. Uh, well, I mean now, uh, but uh, I mean next, uh, before doing the next dungeon. Uh, I'm still gonna just explore a little bit here. Oh, uh, what was up here? Uh, So I remember the extra magic meter thing was in a hole like that, where you drop down into a hole and then uh, you use your magic uh, powder to, uh, I don't know, use it on some statue or something, uh, but I guess that's not it. Uh, yeah, I do wish the transformation animation thing was a little bit faster. You just hop back and forth instantly. Thank you. 
I'm just going to try that a bit more. Right. Uh, I don't remember if there's a, a heart piece in there or not. But, uh, I don't know. The, the games in this have been tending towards not having uh, parts in the minigame, so uh, I'm just going to assume there isn't. Uh, I'm not really looking to collect all of them anyways. Yeah, see, it's a good thing I deposited all my rupees there at the Wishing Well. I'd be uh, way, uh, way over by now. sure there's a chest here somewhere. Uh, I think I just, I walk through one of these houses and then a, a treasure chest starts following me. Right, does this do anything? I thought that might be some. I need to spend rupees now. This must be the magic thing. Yes. Alright. I wonder if that's a, like, Japanese myth or something, uh, because, uh, you know, or some legend or something like that, because, uh, I remember seeing that, uh, in Thousand Year Door, there's a, you know, a guy, a guy who you free and then he says he curses you, but he actually makes you stronger. the chest is in there and then uh, you bring it to the uh, the guy at the uh, entrance to the uh, desert oh okay and that's the uh, blacksmith Okay. 
Yeah, so I need the uh, better mitts. close. I thought I lost the portal again. Alright, so once I get the emits, I'm gonna head down there. I'm just gonna go uh, spend the rupees before uh, I waste more. Yeah, so I guess the, uh, I don't know, the next two Zelda games were uh, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Uh, I'm just, I don't remember what order they came in and I don't know if Skyward Sword was between them or not, but uh, I'm just going to lump them in together because I feel pretty much the same about both of them. That's that uh, I didn't like either of them at all. Uh, I didn't even finish them. They're the only Zelda games that I've started playing and have never finished. Uh, I got them... it was towards the end of the... Uh, DS time, anyways. Uh, I didn't get them when they came out, but I think I, I got them, I don't know, maybe used or something sometime later. Uh, and yeah, they were both... Uh, I don't know, I just couldn't stand either of them. The, the, touch, scroll, uh, the touch controls were just unnecessary. They made it... Uh, I don't know, they made everything just imprecise, and uh, it was especially annoying playing it like on the bus or in a car or something, because you know, it would, you'd bounce around and hit the, you know, hit the wrong spot on the screen and stuff like that. Uh, it meant that like your hand was covering part of the screen all the time, uh, and they didn't really use it for anything, you know, really necessary. Like, they, they could have easily gotten, uh, you know, done without it. Uh, you know, aside from that, they were also extremely linear. It seemed to be, well, and story heavy. It was like, you know, you do a bunch of talking and then, uh, you know, go do, like, a part of the next dungeon and then do a bunch more talking and then, uh, then you can go to the next dungeon and you're always just, like, railroaded along, uh, you know, one spot to the next. Uh, plus I think both of them, I don't remember, but one of them had, uh, like a tower or something that you had to just go back through, like, several times during the game, and I think the other one had some repetitive thing, too. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't like either of them at all. Uh, yeah, and I, I don't really have any interest in playing them. Uh, I did try again, like, uh, I don't know, a couple years after that, playing through them in an emulator. Uh, and seeing if maybe that helped, uh, because then I could, you know, use a mouse or whatever, and, uh... Uh, it still didn't. It was still just, uh... Uh, Waterfall of Wishing near Zora's Lake. Okay, uh... I guess I'm full now? Uh... uh I assume she means the... 
upgrading the boomerang girl. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Actually, uh, I think before I go in there, no, that doesn't do anything. Uh, I think I'm supposed to do something in here. I think I can get the rest of them. I don't know if I should, but uh, now am I supposed to do this? No. Okay. Uh, now I'm, I should be able to get under there somehow. Take a quick break, and then I'm gonna do this dungeon, or try anyways. Uh, I'm assuming I've got the uh, right equipment, because I am skipping three uh, momentarily. Uh, 